of slate, it is going to be in Major League Baseball. And we're going to start off with the Dodgers taking on the Rockies. And that'll be a nice little divisional matchup there uh, early in the year. 410 Eastern first pitch in Colorado. The Dodgers open the betting as the $1.25 favorite total at 10. Now we're seeing movement both upward on the uh, money line and the total. A 15 cent move toward the Dodgers on the money line and a half a run move upward on the total. So we're looking at 140 and 10 and a half. So once again, the Dodgers open 125 up to minus 140. Total open 10 up to 10 and a half. 61% are leaning Dodgers, 60% shaded toward the over. Right now, Colorado's plus 120 on the money line. We have Kenta Maeda uh, projected to start for the Dodgers. We have Anderson slated on the bump for Colorado. Maeda's 1-0 with a 4.05 ERA. Uh, Anderson 0-1 with a 9.0 ERA. I think we'll probably see this game close out. At the Dodgers, minus 145, Dodgers minus 150. But I would definitely uh, continue uh, to look to see them catch some more money. If you're liking Colorado in this spot here, I'd probably be patient. I think you can get a little bit uh, better price. And as far as the uh, total goes, just with this high ERA of Anderson after his uh, uh, early start, um, might see this one close out at 11, just to give you a little bit of a uh, Food for thought there. But uh, I do like the Dodgers in this spot here. Kenta Maeda uh, has been pretty clutch in the past couple of seasons. I'm going to lean L.A. Dodgers minus 140 in the over. Ten and a half runs in that matchup there. All right, next game. little interleague action. Twins, Phils, 705 Eastern first pitch in Philadelphia. Now, it's going to be wet down there. We might not see this game even happen. But regardless... Philadelphia opened the betting as the $1.45 favorite, total at 9. And since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing movement upward on the money line and downward on the total. Money line up to 150, total down to 8 flat. So once again, Philadelphia opened 145, nickel move up to 150, total open 9, down to 8 uh, flat. 68% are leaning Philadelphia, 71% shaded toward the over. Right now, Minnesota's plus a buck and a quarter on the money line. We have Jake Odorizzi projected on the bump for Minnesota. Nick Pavetta slated on the mound for the Phils. Odorizzi has a 1.5 ERA. Pavetta, 7.71 ERA. Uh, typically, with these uh, fighting Phils, I would take the over uh, since their bats have been so hot and they just have an absolutely devastating lineup. Uh, but in this particular matchup, Looks like Pavetta uh, has been struggling uh, struggling a little bit. Um, not so sure he has uh, all cylinders uh, moving in perfect harmony right now. Um, I think this is a good spot for Minnesota backers. Um, also, just with the wet conditions, if this game occurs, I don't see that ball traveling in Citizens Bank Park very much. So I'm going to lean Minnesota plus a buck and a quarter, getting the job done on the money line in the under eight runs in that matchup there. Next game. Boston, Arizona, 710 Eastern first pitch in Arizona. The Red Sox open minus 140, total eight and a half. And since those markets open this one up, we're actually seeing a 20 cent fade of Boston when it comes to the money line. They're down to minus 120. We also saw movement upward on the total up to nine flat. So once again, the Red Sox open 140 down to minus 120, total open eight and a half up to nine uh, might see this one get down to $1.15 by the time it's all said and done. I'm looking for this one to probably close out at around 9 flat. I don't see that one getting any higher. But anyway, 66% are leaning Boston, 63% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Diamondbacks are plus 105 on the money line. We have Porcello on the bump for Boston. Uh, Goodley projected for the uh, <laughs> Zach Godley. Why did I read Goodley? Zach Godley for Arizona. Uh, Godley's always got good stuff. Um, Porcello uh, got knocked around a little bit. Um, I think Arizona catching some plus money at home here with Boston on that West Coast trip coming off of uh, a series against Oakland. I think this is a good spot for Arizona backers. Give me the Diamondbacks plus 105 and the over nine runs in that matchup there. Next game, Oakland. Stroves, 8-10 Houston. The Astros opened 
uh, minus 170, total eight and a half. We're seeing movement upward on the money line and downward on the total. Nickel move up to 175, total move down to eight. Once again, Houston open 170, up to minus 175, total open eight and a half, down to a flat. 54% are leaning Houston, 71% shaded toward the over. Right now, Oakland's plus 150 on the money line. Montas projected for Oakland. McHugh projected for Houston. Montas is 1-0 with a 1.5 ERA. McHugh's 0-1 with a 3.6 ERA. I like Houston getting the job done at home here, despite uh, Montas' uh, good early start. Give me Houston minus 175 in the under eight runs in that matchup there. Next and final game for the show, it is going to be uh, Cubs, Brewers, 810 Eastern first pitch in Milwaukee. The Brewers open 130, down the minus 125, totals eight and a half. 62% are leaning Milwaukee, 66% shaded toward the over. Right now the Cubs are plus 105 on the money line. Quintana's for the Cubs, Woodruff's for the Brewers. Quintana's got a 4.5 ERA, Woodruff at 3.6. Uh, Chicago is just 1-5 straight up on the year. Always a slow starter uh, for Joe Madden squads. Give me Milwaukee minus 125 in the over. Eight and a half runs in that matchup there. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me. Once again, happy Friday to you. I'm so happy Friday's here. I am ready for the weekend. And uh, aside from uh, I got all the gambling in last week, uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit more resting uh, this week, watch a lot of games and just relax and sit my fat ass on the couch. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, once again, please check me out at patreon.com slash Brock page. Plenty of free content there. Link is in the description section below. If you're a current patron of mine and you've been riding with me this whole time, I simply cannot thank you enough. You make it all worth it. And most importantly, thank you for watching today's program. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock page and have a great weekend.